we have all said or heard something to the effect of, hey, you know, if you do that, you're going to be put on a list. And people like me always respond like, ah, I'm already on like 10 or 15 lists, so what's another one, right? Well, we have confirmation that if you have been dabbling in 3D printing, that you are on a list. Whether you're actually using it for nefarious things or not, or even uh, using it for the manufacture of certain items that certain activists within our government don't really appreciate. Uh, Yeah, you're on a list. It turns out they have been tracking you and they've been paying attention to your other internet purchases. So if you're under any illusion that you have privacy in your purchasing patterns, then uh, you are vastly mistaken. And that's what we're going to be talking about here today on the BSO Gun Channel after we hear a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by XS Sites. They are my preferred source for Tritium Night Sites, as well as several other products that they make that are just fantastically executed. Highly, highly recommended. I've been using them for almost a decade now. Today begins their Memorial Day sale. It runs from today unto next, I think, Friday, maybe? Yeah, Friday, May 31st. So 24th through the 31st. 25% off site-wide. Go get it. Brightest sites in any light. This story comes to us courtesy of AMLN. It was published on May 20th, 2024, composed by author John Crump. And this relates, if you remember back just a little bit ago, there was a guy out of Staten Island that was jammed up pretty hard for privately manufacturing firearms. Now, here's the thing. It is 100% legal in the United States for a U.S. citizen to produce their own firearms. It has been that way since before America was America. The ATF has acknowledged that it is 100% legal for American citizens to produce their own firearms. Congress has said that it is legal for Americans to produce their own arms. It is implied by the Second Amendment of the United States. The guy's name is John Rea, and basically what he got screwed up for was uh, standard capacity magazines, which are illegal in the state of New York. And he was allegedly manufacturing firearms without serial numbers on them, which uh, as someone who has the capability to serialize firearms as an 0702 uh, FFL, not the easiest thing to do legibly and consistently. And there are specific guidelines that must be followed for marking firearms. So any permutation of that could probably be used against the guy. Although what I will say is to be intellectually honest here, uh, the guidelines for marking firearms are actually pretty loose. Anyway, that's beside the point. They made an admission uh, on how they tracked this guy down. And I am going to quote for you exactly what the agent said. We just basically track internet purchases from eBay, PayPal, Amazon, different various online companies. Uh, We get a list every other month backdated a month with people purchasing components that could possibly create a ghost gun like the rails, the 3d printer. Now there are a couple of implications. I was really like to zero in here for those of you who are only partially tracking. Obviously the government is interested in this type of uh, economic behavior. I guess you could come up with, reasonable excuses for it. Like, oh, well, we want to track purchases in case somebody is a Terry and they're trying to perpetrate some crime in the United States. At least in my mind, be better is if you just didn't let those people in the United States. But who am I, right? They're obviously interested in it. We've seen this kind of behavior previously with the whole purchasing codes with the credit card carriers and stuff like that. And the supposition there is that uh, they would be able to negatively impact the financial situation of uh, both the purchaser and purveyor of such products uh, that is as far as I know currently at least clandestinely done uh, I don't think there is an official setup for that at this point in time I think they got smacked down pretty hard they said that they get a list well they get the list from who well they're obviously getting it from these companies so that means companies like Amazon and eBay etc 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 are cataloging what kind of purchases are being made. They've established some kind of internal quota that they have not 
released to the public for 3D printing supplies. And if you pass that threshold and or purchase certain other items like, oh, I don't know, pieces of metal that could be for anything, uh, then they are going to potentially investigate you for something that they have called a crime, which actually isn't a crime that has been legal the entire existence of the United States and before, right? That That's where we're at. So if you are under any illusion that the, uh, the uh, I want to do this thing so that they don't know what I got. Really? Really? A quick note out there to anybody who is participating in the 3D printing thing, which I think is a fantastic hobby. I'm interested in it, but I just simply don't have time to do it. We have told you repeatedly that they are coming for you. And many of you have said things like, oh, well, you know, we're not actually doing that sort of stuff. It's only a couple bad actions. No, they are watching all of you guys and if you don't think that they are, look no further than this example right here. Out of the, I'm going to look up his official title. Sergeant Rashawn Vaughn, commanding officer of the Homeland Security Investigations Financial Crimes Task Force. That doesn't sound like he's a schlub that doesn't know what he's talking about. Directly from a higher up is saying they are watching you and what you buy and what you could potentially be using it for. I don't think it gets any more clear cut than that. I'm out of here for today. Have a good weekend, everybody, if you do that sort of thing.